a ditch or is this an ATV trail? Fucking shit. And how do you explain? Bird, somebody. Two birds dead. In the same place like that? That's not normal. Stand up, my hip is. I feel my inner hip aching. Well, this is not hard riding, but I mean, obviously, I need more bike time to get my muscles put back in the spot. If they still can at this age, they better. That Suzuki King Quad, it's got to be twice the size of this bike. It's huge. I'm liking that, too. that they had there in stock was the wrong one in the box and it's their software system apparently the modern software system is totally screwy Jonathan don't like it so we had to order the proper one from Yamaha I wanted an OEM from advanced it was like 500 bucks John says don't bother he says I'll get you in one for less than 100 bucks and I'm like right on so Tuesday he's thinking it's gonna be uh, in, so but the new battery in it I got the charger there so I'm gonna go do some boots just not I was thinking of leaving here to go up to Tobermory, but not with this until at least I got the thing charging. So, yeah. do you know anything about the trail system in these parts? I don't. They've got these weird signs I've never seen before. They were not there last year. They're they rectangle. Don't, they don't want the. They don't want people in the ditch. They just want them on the shoulder of the road. Okay, but that ditch is. I mean, they're talking about the ATV trail that I yeah. rode on for the last 20 years. Yeah, because everybody's wrecking the wrecking everybody's laneways. And But here, down 13, there's no, I mean, the only laneways are those big businesses like Fawcett and that school and a few other things, eh? Yeah. No, so they're really uh, serious about that. Yeah. I think a lot of it's a snowmobile too, because it all started with snowmobile trails and all the landowners, like ATVs wreck the property compared uh, to snowmobiles. So there's a big push against landowners too. Oh, wow. Because they still have the little stop signs for us there, like for skidoos in the winter and rest in the summer. Well, it's, those are just the skidoo ones. Oh yeah? Yeah, on your map, on the map for the bike club for this area, I'm going to email them, but Jesus, I mean, there's a good trail system here, so. There is, once you get off, the, off this road, back in behind here, yeah. Going back towards 
third well going up towards Wyerton, I guess that way, right? Hi, Meg. Yeah, I think there's some there too. Yeah. So well I'll behave. I don't want any tickets. It says it's like hundred and fifty dollars. I went I went on it anyway just to see. I thought, well if anybody's gonna jack me up, it'd probably be today, but not a thing. And then the other thing is, is uh, Sable Falls Road. They that, they changed that too. You can't ride an ATV there no more. That's what the lady at the store, that little, you know, that little North Sable. Uh, every time I come here, I've always gone there for fresh, well, not smoked white fish and fresh perch, which they don't carry anymore, but they did have smoked trout. Yeah. yeah. They told me that uh, we're not supposed to ride down Sable Falls Road anymore. I said, well, when did that change? It's like, wow. So how do I get to your store? I have to drive my truck now from the campground instead of my bike. I said, which, you know, I did last year, the year, well, not the year before I didn't go there, but the three years previous. Yeah. So, oh well. There's a lot of people that are reckoning for the normal riders, really. Yeah, like, yeah. We have the same problem up there. Yeah. So, freaking idiots, eh? It, it, nobody thinks long term. It's like, okay, go have your fun now, but what about 20 years down the road, you know? Exactly. Your kids, maybe, your grandkids, they don't think of that. But they do on Deadliest Catch. Holy moly. I, I'm totally obsessed by this TV show, eh? Oh, really? So now I've just gotten to season three where it's the, uh, the, uh, the Phil Harris, the father, and then the two sons are on the ship. Well, you don't know Deadliest Catch. They crab people up in the Bering Sea. Are you just starting to watch it? I, I just started to watch it, yeah. Okay, because you're like, like... 20 seasons behind. I was say, you're about 15 years behind. Oh, yeah. You have something to totally, do. totally hooked, though. Yeah. I was like, freak, if I was 30, man, I'd be headed straight there to go work on them ships in a, in a red second. And also 61, watching it on TV is good enough. Yeah. I get tired watching them. But, like, you can see, like, they're passing it down to their kids, eh? Like, you, like... 20, 29 years the Hansen family has passed their ships and stuff down to their kids. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, anyway, let's let you guys get to whatever, all this cool yeah. stuff. Got all, shit to do. With all the paperwork. Yeah, Friday. Friday. It's already starting to pack up, eh? Uh, no. No? No. Really? Well, I guess it's still early though, eh? They, they, so. they don't come in till later. The road is busy back towards Sable Beach. Like, I had to turn off on D-Line because... You know, I know you're not allowed to go into Sable with these, so. Why not? No, you have to go, like, oh, well, the way I went is the way you're supposed to go. You're not supposed to go, like, you know, where the OPP station is, that area is considered main, whatever. You're not supposed to go there. And then if you keep going straight, that's 21, I guess. You're not supposed to go on there either. Well, 13, whatever it is. But, yeah. No, that part I get, there's just some things around here that are confusing me, so. Huh these new signs that weren't there but yeah hmm. but there is alternative routes like you can get to the dealership legally right so the d line d line is the yeah. way the, yeah. the way to go through so what see you later what can you move that table well, it's probably wild. It's probably wild. Well, Anyway, yeah, the tattoo bus hit the post, I guess, Joe said. They what? Took a, took a post down here. Ah. Oh. Okay, so that's what I was kind of hearing last night after all, because yeah. I'm thinking the only thing that would be similar in sound would be that red pickup, and there's no way he was backing yeah. up for 15 minutes with that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. weird. Nice enough. Did, uh, I haven't uh, looked at my phone. Did Luke reach back out to you yet? Okay, he's probably text me back. I'll find out what's going on because he just said, I'll see you Friday. It must be next Friday. So, but I got the message today, but I already knew he was coming. I told him that, you know, you were on the phone with him when I walked in the office. Yeah, and but, yeah. I said, like, I saw that you're looking like you're going to come next Friday. Then it only occurred to me today to say to him, and I knew that it should be okay with you because it's not by the site here. It's by the person, right? So it'd be handy for him. I mean, I got electric and water there, obviously. So if he wants his privacy, that's different. Yeah. But I don't know. The opera's there. Yeah, I'm gonna go have some. I'm gonna have some of that smoked trout for lunch. Great idea. Yeah, yeah tacos. Yeah, meat and more. Like meat and more. I yeah. love that place. Uh, the first time we ever came here, when Norm was still alive, with uh, me, Norm, whoever else, I think little Frankie was with us, and Roger, 
We went there and they had smoked whitefish from here, like here on, and fresh perch out of Lake Erie. So I we I remember we bought a ton of it and just ate like pigs here. So you're a perch man. But the owner remembered, well he didn't remember me, but he remembered when he carried that stuff and I said, Well your fish was over on that wall, not where it is now. So he says, You got a good memory? I said, No, I don't. Hey, that's my truck. Literally that's my truck. <laughs> He's he's both his tail lights are still there, so it's not mine. folks so at least we have a bit of information I guess I'll stop using those trails I get it I mean this is where my fellow ATVers there's fucking idiots that fuck it up right for the rest of us you fucking idiots around here in Sable Beach that fucked up the trail system you're fucking idiots did you never think by fucking it up now that your kids will never be able to do it Jesus stupid motherless short-sighted stupid motherfuckers eh Anyways, at least the ATV club's got lots of trails and stuff. I'm going to email them and I know their trail system by their map, so I'm okay that way. But there's just a few questions I'm going to ask them so I'm uh, in the clear, like making sure I understand what's going on here. But yeah, because I mean, I rode those trails for years. Never a problem. Never an issue. Nobody ever would say anything or complain. And yet here we are. Isn't that something? Where's my hat? <laughs> I need my fucking hat. <laughs> so we got ourselves a loaf of bread. And I'm assuming locally made from the way things look. Uh, macaroni and cheese, uh, you know, salad. And I never did look where it's from. Hot smoked trout. It's from Kitchener. Keep refrigerated best before August 29th. So I guess I'll eat this pretty soon. Yeah, it doesn't say where it's from. 
So this could be from anywhere. I'm ho I was hoping for local stuff. I guess I just have to go out in the lake and catch it. I'm going to check that wind because it does feel like it's coming out of the southwest, but I'm still seeing some north stuff, but I'll have to check windy, you know, windy, uh, the, the app that I have. Anyway, let's shut you guys down for the moment. I'm going to go get the, all my toys because I'm going to be staying here for a while. I'm going to figure out what, uh, the, what the, boat, the boat situation is. And if I can go out at least on a test run, that's what we're going to go do. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a while. Bye-bye. Oh, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to help out uh, with anything, paypal.com slash ladfromthewoods. Buy me a coffee dot com slash from the woods or patreon dot com slash lad from the woods peace long life live long and prosper be good to your fellow human hey everyone welcome back i don't know what's going on with this camera i think i screwed some setting up anyways uh just was filling up the uh air the uh, tires on the trailer at digger's suggestion <laughs> i knew already digger Okay, I'm wasting my time. This this little this little uh, guy is not up. The uh, trailer tires want 90 pounds, and this thing's just not up to the task. It's I bought it for the uh, for the ATV, not for this. So anyway, I, uh, I'm not going to go to the gas station right away, but uh, we're just going for a quick toot down the down the uh down to the bay just to see if the boat's doing what it's supposed to like not sinking so we're going to get her all hooked up and we'll get her uh get her all fixed up all right <laughs> <laughs>